Chief Craig Harris, right arm in second class, United States Navy. I was put on another boat for about a half a day, and then the next day I went on to the 97, and that was it, I was there. I was a twin 50 gunner up the gun tub. Was my general quarters devastating? If if you know what 150 will do, you double that, and it does more than that. It's just devastating what it can do. Like cut down trees, cut up sandpans, destroy hoochies. I mean, it just mind-boggling what a 50 caliber can do when you got that many of them coming at you. Would, uh, if we could find spare flat jackets, we would take them. I'd lay flat jackets over it a little bit. But as far as armament, no. There was no armor on the gun tub. Sitting about 14 foot off the water, and, hey, you can't get me, I'm up here. <laughs> Scary. But when I was on the 97, we run all kinds of operations. Worked with, uh, Kit Carson Scouts and Regional Forces, and I think it was in June of 97, we picked up a whole boat that you couldn't get any more on that boat. There was no room to move, turn, sit, or nothing. And inserted them. They were making their sweeps and that. We got a radio call, had to go back in under fire, pick up one of their troops pulled him back out, met back to him. And then we went back in to get the rest of them under fire and pulled all of them out. And I believe that was in June of 67. And then in about August, with everything going on, I mean, every day is just, you know, it's the same thing over and over. So you have no, I didn't heavy recollection of time or days. It was just, it was morning, noon, or night. That's all it was, you know. You're on a mission, you're not on a mission, you know, things like this. Uh, I got, I'm thinking somewhere in August of 70, I got pulled off the 97 and went to Bentui and they sent me down to Seafloat, which was at the time, they were moving it over on land called Solid Anchor. They rebuilt the village down there, trying to get the locals to move back in to show them that the area was safe and it had been cleared, you know. Terrorism was gone, Vietcom, the terrorism and that was gone, it was still loaded with them that the NBA and everything else down there. But the people felt safe, so they were moving off the barges and rebuilt a base on land, so they called it Solid Anchor instead of Sea Float. But it's, it was right at the same spot, except they weren't in the middle of the river. They were, and I got sent down there to the uh, comm shack. There's communications, you know, on radio. So that's where I spent my last about seven weeks. <laughs>